Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we are looking into what's coming in next for the month of May. Now in the month of May we have a new moon on May 7th. We have a full moon on May 23rd and that full moon is going to be in the sign of Sagittarius. So through this energy it's going to be a time to discover oneself and look for a deeper meaning or deeper purpose in the things that we do, in the things that we involve ourselves with. Another major alignment that's going to happen this month is Jupiter is going to enter the sign of Gemini. Now with this alignment, it's going to push us again to think deeper on how we feel and how we communicate how we feel. So let's dive a little bit deeper into the energy. Again, guys, if you find the messages helpful, if it's resonating for you, please give it a thumbs up. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here. And it does help to set intentions for future messages. So let's dive into the energy. So let's jump right into Leo's energy for the month of May and see what is going to come out for you through this energy. Most important message here for Leo spirit, what do my Leo friends need to know? What do they need to see through this upcoming energy here in May? Please and thank you. The world and the hanged man with the chariot. Definitely feel here, Leo, there's an energy of changing your perspective and moving forward in a positive direction. Almost like, and we're going to see how this plays out into the cards, into the reading, but like maybe you made a commitment or finally made a decision to make the leap. Let's see how this plays out. The sun... Six of Swords, the Hermit, Seven of Pentacles, the Moon, and the Hierophant. Now these three cards that we have are going to be pulled over at the end here, Leo. There are two different scenarios that are playing out here, two different messages that are coming to the forefront. The main one is taking the leap when it comes to work. So accepting the job offer, accepting the promotion, finally taking the leap, okay? Finally making the decision to move into this next phase. For some of you, this is playing out as a relationship. And this is like finally committing to the next phase of this partnership, okay? I do feel like you are on the right path. You are making the right decision. There's some sacrifices that are being made through this process. You're going to have to make some changes, make some transitions in order for this to be sustainable. I do feel like you are very aware of what it is that is going on, the moves that you're making and how this is playing out into your life. There's still a little bit of uncertainty in regards to the future. Maybe it has to do with a little longevity. Maybe it has to do with the details of so the details of the job offer how everything's going to play out the details of the relationship and getting everything together how you guys are going to move in together how you guys are going to mit, commit to one another um and show your love to the world right so let's start by clarifying the sun energy here leo i definitely feel like you are in a very content very happy space taking care of yourself it's like after making this decision a weight was lifted off your shoulders it felt like you weren't being held down or held back any longer okay it's a beautiful energy some things are going to be crystal clear you're going to be able to see the future very clearly. It's going to come together very neatly, very nicely. Some things aren't going to be so easy. Some things may be a little bit challenging. 
There may be um, some hurdles that you're going to have to overcome to get to the ideal outcome that you envision for your future with this person or in this position. I do feel like you have the strength and what it takes to overcome these challenges, Leo, but you have to make that determination within yourself to do so. Nobody else can do that for you. The main challenge I feel like you're having right now, Leo, is up to this point, you are kind of on the fence about making this decision. So you hadn't really envisioned or played the tape out to see how this was going to line up in your future. And if you take a second to just think about it and perceive what's going to happen in the future, what's going to come of this, I'm sure you can envision where this is going to take you, where this is going to lead. You just have to take some time and sit down and think about it. I highly recommend if you do so to write that out. Write out a plan. Write out what you envision for your future so that way you have it in a place where you can come back and reference it later. Let's clarify the Hermit energy for Leo. Again, Leo, you are making the right decision and making this decision. I do see that coming out very clearly. Any change, any transition, it comes with its own set of challenges that we all individually have to overcome. I feel like that's maybe why it took you so long to make this decision, to take this leap, is you were afraid of the change, afraid of the challenges that you were to face. This person had promised you that they wouldn't take your freedoms away, that they wouldn't disrupt your life, or that you could still be doing the same things that you're currently doing and this line of work. Again, two scenarios playing out here. So take it as it resonates. The moon energy is representative of mystery of subconscious, of things that may be kept secret or may be kept hidden at this time. And I feel like that's where the fear comes in. This is like the unknown in the future, but the what if, the questioning. How do we resolve this challenge? Well, it's really about getting crystal clear and then writing it out, writing it down on a piece of paper so that way when you face adversity, you've already come up with a plan on how to overcome. Again, any change, any transition isn't going to be easy, Leo, but I do feel like this is in alignment with what it is that you truly envision for your future. It's hard to see that when you don't take the time to perceive that. So if you want that clearer vision, about how this is going to come to fruition. Take some time and play that tape out. So let's pull over your advice guidance moving forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. For information on rituals, for ritual kits, for personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And if you found the message was helpful, if it's resonating for you, you can give it a thumbs up or comment below how it was helpful, how it was resonating. You never know how your story could help another person. The Queen of Swords, the Page of Cups, and the Five of Cups. So the Five of Cups is about mourning. A mourning a loss from your past it's like looking back at the past with regret with resentment but really how we overcome this is by just subjectively looking at the past to help us to process I definitely feel here Leo in the past that that could have been what held you back from making a decision for so long is the betrayal of trust from the past and by making this transition, by making this move, you're realizing that uh, maybe it wasn't as bad as I thought. Maybe that was all in my head or uh, why didn't I make this decision sooner? It's okay that you took your time. 
there were things that you needed to learn, maybe challenges that you needed to face before you could get to the position that you are in today. So don't beat yourself up over what you shoulda, coulda, woulda done. Instead, try and switch your perspective and and be thankful for this new phase, this new opportunity coming in because it is exactly what you had envisioned for your future. I feel like this is a vision from a past self. Like in the past, you had envisioned this coming into your life exactly as it is now. It's a little confusing why it's so scary, but nonetheless, Leo, it's like your dreams are finally coming to fruition. It's happening little by little. Take your time here. There's going to be people that are going to support you and want to see this come to fruition. And there may be a couple people in your inner circle that may have negative feelings towards this change. Be prepared for both with the understanding that this is exactly what you envisioned from your past self. So Leo, your lighted pathway oracle message coming out for your reading is forgive. The highest octave of a fulfilled soul is letting go of the ugly pieces of life. Keep giving, keep learning, loving, and forgiving. It's called true love. And we have see the bigger picture. Getting too specific sometimes makes the whole thing unnecessarily complicated. You can probably look at it from a general view and wrap everything up perfectly. Bigger picture vision. Manifest your dreams. Firstly, release all negative thoughts that block your mind and limit your beliefs. Physical moves like walking or practicing yoga are good before you visualize your goals and feel them with all your senses. Beautiful, beautiful. So Leo, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support, for liking, for subscribing, for sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. I hope the message was helpful and I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste.